on guys, welcome back. I'm Rumpig. And I'm Jacinta. And we are tripping us. And we are doing? Litchfield National Park, which is located just one hour south of Darwin. Yes, what are you looking forward to? I am looking forward to Bluey Rock Hall. Cool, it sounds pretty good. What about you? I'm looking forward to Florence Falls. Cool. That's you know, pretty cool. I reckon we should get right into it. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. They're bloody everywhere. Look at them. They'll be like 150 to 200. Eh? Probably another 50 that way. Pretty cool. So we're off to our bluey rock hole, 500 meters return. We got the noodles. Noodles are a must. They are a must, definitely. Just so I can relax a little bit. So bluey rock hole, you like it? I love it. Yeah, so there's 10 different pools, around about anyway. There's pretty well the entrance. Pool one, pool two, three, and it keeps going down, but it's absolutely beautiful. Temperatures, uh, Nice and cool, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble in a minute. <laughs> so we're at the lookout at Florence Falls. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks so good. <laughs> Let's go down for a swim. Let's do it. Let's go. Stop two in Litchfield National Park and we are at... Florence Falls. It's beautiful. Quite chilly though, but... Oh, look at it. Aiming at the full drive from the left. So we're walking around Lost City at the moment. Basically just these big rocks. Pretty cool. They're actually quite big. We're staying at Wangi Campground. It's um, not too bad actually. The Wangi Falls are about 400 meter walk from here. And we're at the back end of the campground. It's got toilets, showers and barbecue area. Not too bad. Uh, Ten dollars a head for this camp. This is Wangi Falls. Usually you can swim in here however there is a couple of uh, saltwater crocodiles in here at the moment so swimming is prohibited. <laughs> Uh, so they come in when it's flood, so up uh, downstream, sorry, will flood and then they'll come up and they uh, will come here where the swimmers are, meant to be. Uh, we're going to do a walk around now that will take us to the top and then I'll show you from there. Pretty clear, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So clear. So we walked up to the upper cascade and then we just followed the stream down and we got to this, the plunge pool. I 
I don't think we can pronounce the name of these balls. No, not correctly. I put it here. They are cool though, I do like them. It was challenging walk though, wasn't it? Maybe for you. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> look out unfortunately you can't swim in the plunge pool but have a look at it there's the falls coming down there it's actually quite small but quite beautiful Sandy Creek Falls, here we go. Lucky I did not bring thongs. Quite a challenging walk. <laughs> As she just shows you, she fell over. So we've just walked 1.75 k's into mm. Sandy Creek Falls. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about it? Yeah, it was uh, a bit tricky to get in here. Lucky I bring my uh, sand shoes. <laughs> uh, but 100% worth it, have a look at this. Adventure. Did we get lost in Litchi? No, we didn't actually. We actually thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> That's what they say anyway. That if you come here, you get lost in Litchi. The last waterfall we are at Surprise Falls. It's only a 300 meter walk from the car park, which is great. And uh, take them for a look. Show you them. <laughs> So that is Litchfield National Park done. Ended up taking us two days, one night. We're at Robin Falls, which is south of Adelaide River, uh, which is about 130 kilometers from Darwin. We don't have any reception to actually tell you the truth there. It's about <laughs> 130, I think. Um, and it's actually a free camp. It's beautiful, isn't it? There's a little stream here behind us. Yeah, you may be so see. beautiful. Probably the best free camp we've actually stayed in the last yeah. three months, one week. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So we're going to give you our top three. So it was only two days worth, but uh, there was a lot to do. Yeah. So what's our number one? You number one on? is Sandy Creek. Sandy Creek was beautiful like that. Oh, uh, incredible. Yep. You do need a four-wheel drive to... Um, going to Sandy Creek. Yeah, you'll see a no full, um, only full drive there sign as you drive in, but uh, thoroughly worth it. Yeah, and it's only 1.8 kilometres walk one way uh, from the car park. Yeah, um, and if you're interested in jumping off rocks, there's heaps of rocks there to do it. But Yeah, uh, there's a campground there as well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah there was too. Uh, number two is Florence Falls. You like this one, didn't you? I loved this one because it was a short walk in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lots of people there though, so if you don't like the heaps of people, real crowded, yeah. get there a little bit earlier, like I'm talking early AMs maybe, you'd yeah. be on your own I reckon. Yeah, the water there was freezing, um, but it was only 450 metre walk to get to the falls from the car park, which is what we like. That's good. Three? Number three is Bluey Waterhole. Yeah, that was our first one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the first one, yeah. Yeah, there's lots of people there, very crowded again. Um, short was, walk from the car park. Yeah, short walk, uh, toilets there as well. 
Yeah. Um, also, actually, a lot of people. Yeah, actually, Litchfield National Park, every single waterfall that we went to had beautiful picnic areas, um, yes. walkways, and facilities. Yeah, they done well. well yeah, done they done. Yeah, well done, Litchfield. Yeah, nothing like Kakadu. No. no. Um, so, that is our top three. Yep. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.